Hi everyone, welcome to Rose Hypnics podcast. This is episode 120. My name is Hannah and I'm recording this mostly knitting podcast, but also hand dyeing podcast from Northern Tasmania in Australia. I'm a Swedish expat and I live here with my Australian husband and our two daughters. And uh, I love knitting. I love wool, I love yarn. Um, I do some crochet, I do some spinning, but knitting take most of my spare time. Uh, you can find me as Rosip Chick on Ravelry and on Instagram. And both of those platforms are good places to, to get hold of me. I have a hand dyeing business, Rosip Island, and you can find that by going to rosipisland.com. And my website also has um, all of my videos that I post on YouTube and also um, a blog news section. So um, you're welcome to check that out if you'd like to do so. So welcome everybody and thank you so much for watching. I uh, have again found a little bit of time to sit down here in my studio to record and talk about the things that I really love and to share them with you. Thank you for taking some of your time to spend it with me. I really appreciate it and I really, really enjoy this and I hope you will too. If you're a new viewer, welcome. And uh, I hope you will like this um, little knitting catch up. <laughs> okay, I have a cup of tea. Uh, not very warm anymore. It took me some time to get organized for this video. But it's fine. At least it's a little bit of liquid <laughs> to hydrate. Okay. So first of all, I like to say that um, I've had some real issues with uploading my videos to YouTube. I think it is an issue with my computer. It's getting a little bit uh, on the older side. So. Um, last time i had everything beautifully edited and uh, ready to be uploaded on youtube but my computer would just it was just not able to move the large file and uh, i ended up doing a quick edit on my ipad and upload the video from my ipad which took a while but it worked without any problems so um my last video was just a quick edit, but I got it up there and um, I thought that was that was the main thing. So for this episode, I'm going to try to keep it short, which, you know, is not something <laughs> that's easy for me. But I'll try to keep it short and hopefully that will um, increase the likelihood of there not being too many issues with getting this up on YouTube. Um, I will probably, again, uh, use my iPad to upload. I will not just do a very simple edit and upload from my iPad uh, and not waste two days on trying to get my computer to work with me. <laughs> so I just wanted to mention that, that uh, that's going on behind the scenes, taking a bit of time and it's time that I don't really have. So things might look a little bit different um, just because um, at the moment they need to. To make it work for me <laughs> okay uh, but today i like to share with you some of the knitting that i have been doing i think it's only knitting yes normally it is and i have some hand dyeing to share with you as well and some shop stuff um at the end of this video so i think we'll just we'll dive straight in um it is the last day of November today, so tomorrow is the 1st of December, which means um, Advent calendar opening. Um, so I think I'll actually publish this video tomorrow on 1st of December, if I can make that happen. <laughs> so I'll be able to show you uh, my Advent project. Because as I've told you, I've started, I've, I've completed a Radvent cardigan by Amber O'Brien using my Graffiti Fade Advent calendar. But I won't be able to show that to you until the Advent is all opened. I might be able to show a black and white photo when we're a bit into it. 
but I have lots of leftover yarn. So I've decided to knit a pair of simple socks um, and I should be able to keep up with that during um, December. So I'll be able to share that with you today. Um, but yes, it's um, Christmas. It's all just starting to um, get into life starting to happening <laughs> which I love Christmas will be quite different for us this year with no family visiting but um, we are still looking forward to Christmas and having time off and um, doing fun things but yes it's this it's still November so there's a bit of time my plan has been I oh, know I'm babbling on again let me just say this quickly <laughs> um, my plan is this year to get the house organized and tidy and then make it Christmas festive and pretty um, because it's such a mess. So yesterday I spent a lot of time filling bags with both rubbish and things going to um, charity. So just I've been, yes, emptying the house of bags full of stuff just you know the kids are growing you get interested in in different things and you just can't hold on to everything so yesterday was a very good day for me because I was able to let go of a lot of things that have been sitting around yeah, so I think soon I'll be able to uh, shift over to more uh, Christmas decorating festive mood but first I would like to feel like my house is um, tidy and organized it's never going to be a minimalist house I mean, look at this behind me here. <laughs> it, that's just not going to happen. But it would be nice um, to have things at least a little bit more organised. So. All right, enough about stuff. I have been knitting. I have definitely been knitting. So I'll um, share some of that with you. Oh, I think I forgot to... I can't remember if I had finished my flax cardigan last time that I steaked. I know I had finished it, I had steaked it, but I've put buttons on it now. Still haven't done any seaming in of the steak. So maybe when I have done that, I'll show that to you again. Okay. It's the last day of November and I have finished my Free Socks 2020 November socks. Some time ago now. I think I showed them to you last time that I had started them, or maybe not. Anyway, these are my Socks on a Plane by Laura Linneman of The Knit Girls. I have knit these in some Mondim sock yarn. I don't have it with me. I can't remember. It's Portuguese 100% uh, wool, all natural, not super wash treated, and there's no nylon in here. It's a, a nice rustic wool. I like the feel of it because I quite like the, the more rustic wool. Um, they were not um, not super inspiring to knit. No, that's I shouldn't say that. Um, the colour was just, it was not making me just want to knit more and want to knit more. Um, I, I like the patterns. I wanted to sort of keep going with the, the cable and... I liked knitting with the yarn, I liked the feel of it, but the colour did, it was a little bit boring. But I'm very happy with the result. I did, I did say that maybe I'll embroider some hot pink on here or something, um, but we'll see. So these are my Free Socks 2020 for November, Socks on a Plane. And they are also my November project for Knit All the Colours 2020. 2020 Knit All the Colours, uh, a knit along hosted by uh, Kristen of Scan Yarn, and the November colour was brown. So I'm very happy. Like these cows, they just make me do things that I have been thinking about doing, but I'm just not getting around to it. So this yarn I had had in my stash for a while. I got it from a D stash and I had really wanted to, to try it. But I guess the yarn just didn't, speak to me it was not something that I I pick for my stash when I was going to make something um so this niche along having to use brown 
um, got me to get this out of my stash and use it. And I'm very happy about that. So that's that. And maybe now you're thinking, but hey, what about what you're wearing? You just got straight into the what you finished. So, sorry, I've got to be carried away. What am I wearing? This is another finished object. I don't think I had finished it last time. I was maybe close. This is the Dive In Cow by Stephanie Lotvin, who is Telebean Knits on Instagram. This is a cow that is part of a, a collection called Discover Cow Collection, which is three cows. They're all released now. Uh, this was the first one, the Dive In Cow, as I said, and I have used some of my hand dyed yarn, sock yarn, and these this is a soft sock, uh, which is based, I don't have any more, but I used it one year for my advent calendar. And actually this pink and this yellow are from past advent calendars. And then the red and the blue were just some other partial skeins I had left in my stash. Um, I am so happy, so happy with this. I the colors I'd like I just it's just amazing I'm so happy with it. I can't wait can't wait for it to be winter so that I can actually wear it imagine me who have a lot of gray and black clothes I can just pop this on and I'll be all cheerful and colorful and I'll brighten up everyone's day I'll take it off so um the construction of this without giving too much away is that first you knit a triangle sort of like you're starting a shawl a triangle or shawl and then you you join it and you knit in the round um and you get this excellent and i was actually thinking about this the other day i listened to a swedish audio podcast called um stick contact and they were talking about um a neck warmer i think in english you call it a dicky which is just like a uh, a collar and a little bit of fabric going down on your back and your front and um, i might have that english word completely incorrect um and they were talking about different ones and how they like the ones that go down a bit further and uh, not just like a little thing up here and i had been knitting on this and um the next one that i'll show you later and I thought these, I mean, these are, have the same function really, warming your neck and warming down your back a bit and your front. And um, I mean, I think, and that's just, it's just my opinion, but I think these are so much cooler than just knitting a, a collar and a, a flap down the front and a flap down the back. So yes, super happy with my cowl and it blocked out so nicely super pretty so that's that one and then something that I spoke about last time and um, that I'm wearing now is my Fenmont pullover by Emily Watson I think I haven't written it down um, I had mended this last time because I had a little bit of a, a snag and a, a hole <laughs> the front and now I'm wearing it. It's a very a good um, jumper for, for warmer weather. So I've done it in three colours of Cola Girl Collective Tweed Base and I really, really like it. So that's what I'm wearing. Okay, have I finished anything else? I have finished one other item, but I don't have them here to show you. So if technology works with me, I'm not going to promise, I'm going to uh, insert a photo. Uh, what I finished was um, a pair of Joe's Perfect Slipper Socks by Cozy Up Knits. It's a pattern I have used before using a Novita sock yarn, a thick, like a DK weight sock yarn. I used that before, and this time I used my uh, Merino hemp yarn, which is what I have up here. 
actually I used this color the sky color in my merino hemp and um, yes I decided that I'm not going to have this base anymore in my shop and I had a little bit of a leftover skein of the sky from something else I had made so I decided to to make a pair of of, um, of socks of that and then I put the rest on sale in my shop so all this here is um, in the shop on sale but I'll talk more about that later so maybe you have seen a photo of the slipper socks I really recommend that pattern um, I've made it twice now as I said and they're super quick and they just fit really well on the foot and I have found because I'm a little bit addicted to wearing woolen socks I don't like having bare feet I don't know maybe it's because I don't vacuum often enough so I can feel all the dirt under my feet um, but in summer it gets a little bit hot when you're wearing big thick woolen socks so these little slipper socks are just perfect and I thought that the hemp merino would be even better for warmer weather than the um, the wool nylon. So they are things that I finished uh, since I last spoke to you. And then it's been really, really odd because I think I had finished my Miss Arena last time I recorded a video and I have not cast on a new jumper which is it's all that I want to do but I just have not done it I've been working on other things and feeling like I should uh, finish those so I don't have a new jumper to show you today which is surprising I have been working a little bit on my beanie that I was also working on last time fits the whole fam beanie another pattern by Cozy Up Knits uh, I'm doing this holding four strands together and those four strands oh my gosh I have everything in here is one rainbow sock yarn one commercial baby four ply yarn ooh, ooh. what else oh one skein yarn sock yarn I think it's a top drawer sock yarn and a, a mohair silk that I dyed. So those three are creating this. And I think oh, I wanted to, I made, the one I made previously, I ran out of yarn. So I had to make it a bit shorter, which was fine for uh, not folding it up. I was hoping I would be able to make this a little bit longer, but I'm running out of some of, of the skeins. So I'll either start using another skein to be able to get it a bit longer or I'll just make it another short one. But this one has been really good um, just for when I don't really know what to knit and I'm not up for colour work or lace or other things that I have been working on. Um, so it's sort of like having a vanilla sock. So I've been working a little bit on that. It's not something that I'm super... Um, Ah, oh, what is it called? I'm not in a hurry in getting it done because we're not going to be able to wear a beanie like that for a while now with some being here. <laughs> okay, what else am I working on? Um, the other thing that I'm working on and which have been taking most of my knitting time is the next cowl in the discover cow collection by stephanie lotvin and i think i showed you the yarn that i had been planning to use for this last time i think i might have changed them around a little bit since last time um but anyway i can't remember so the second cow in the discover cow collection is the pluck cow and like like the first one the diving one it has the same construction and has a little bit of color work but it also has lace and I don't knit lace very much and I forget why 
because I think I I'm quite I'm quite an experienced knitter, so it shouldn't be a problem for me. I should it shouldn't be hard. Um, and I I do like a lot of patterns that have lace. But then every time I start knitting something lace, I just I I can't get the flow. I think that's the thing with color work or just plain knitting. I get into a flow and it's relaxing. But with lace knitting, I think it just makes me a little bit stressed instead of making me relax because I'm worried about making a mistake and I have to just follow the chart the whole time. I mean, I do get into if it's a if, if it's a long round and the same repeat, I do get into it and I I do do it without problem. But then at every new round I have to get into the new pattern repeat and it's just I don't know why I just can't get into it as much as I can with color work I don't know but this pluck cowl has a bit of lace but it's been fine it's been fine so here it is I am almost finished with this and I love this one as well surprise surprise okay so here it is so it has the same construction with a triangle then it has a little bit of um a lace or a hole <laughs> making holes stripes a bit of color work and the lace section color work again and then it has these sort of lace rounds and there's going to be another two one two repeats of this and then it's bind off and it's done i think this one is a little bit longer than the first one uh, for this I'm using my linen merino single ply yarn which is I must say it is my favorite favorite out of my bases um, it's the one that I use to miss arena so what I decided to do was to use the leftover uh, skein that I had from my miss arena this is the pinot colorway and then, so that's what I use for here and the color work. And that was the one you needed the, the, the smallest amount of meters of. And then I wanted to use a skein of crocus. So I decided to use that for the lace. I decided to use a gray in the end uh, as the background in the color work. And I didn't have enough of the grey left from my Miss Arena to use. So I decided to use another grey, which is my Midnight colorway. So this is a grey and it has pinks and um, yellows in it. I think it's very pretty. So that's what I have used for the grey sections. And as you can see, it's sort of, it is grey from a distance, but it has so much life in it um, so that's that one and uh, another thing I should say when I decided on the colors on this um, I mean you can see these are colors that I really really enjoy that I really like like to wear and I like to work with um, but I did have someone else in mind planning this and making this because it is going to be a Christmas present for someone special. Um, so, um, whereas I maybe would have maybe gone a little bit more crazy if it was for me, I wanted something um, that was a result that I thought would be something this person would like that's going to receive it. So, hopefully that will be the case. I'm just going to do another maybe... Would it be eight rounds and then bind off and block it and it will be ready for gifting so this is pluck by stephanie lotton and it's the second pattern in the discover cow collection and just the other day or maybe it's been a few days now the third and last pattern came out and i can't remember what it's called glide i think it's called glide and Stephanie has made the, the pattern sample um, in a blue and white or natural color, sort of like um, 
it reminds me of sort of gr grease um and it's i think it's all over color work and i think again a little bit longer and it's it's so beautiful and actually right now i'll i've i've planned to make it i'll definitely make it and it will be for me this next one and so i'm just going to finish the one i'm working on and then i'll um start on one for me and i've i've had a big i've continued sorting through here in my studio and looking at stuff that i have had for a while and bases that i don't um die anymore um and not that there's anything wrong with them and i don't like them but you know things keep changing and i have to adjust a little bit to what sells and so on anyway i had these three colorways you can see they're old because i have my old tags i had these three colorways on my new merino fingering base the new merino is a um non-treated um it's traceable and um like a sustainable branded yarn so it's it's all natural and uh, it's australian but yes it's traceable they know that it's not from mules sheep and it's um you know nothing no funny business has been going on um and it hasn't been super wash treated so um this one is actually what i used for my first love note together with a more red mohair so i got really dark um pink so this is my pink for days the red and tallest tree so i only have these i have two of each and that's all i have left on this base um and I don't, I don't think I've had them listed in my shop for a while. But I thought these would be perfect to make a cowl from. And I am thinking about um, bringing this yarn back into my shop because I really want to have a um, non-superwash um, option. And I think I'll... Well, my plan is to phase out one of my sock yarns and only keep one of them and then introduce this one instead. Um, so I thought I want to make another project with what I already have and get the feeling back for it and everything and uh, have a sample. And I think I'll use these two for the two color, color work cowl. I think that will be too Christmassy. So I thought these two. So that's that's coming up. Those two in a cowl. I think that could be fun. So that's my new merino fingering wave base. And I'm pretty sure I'll bring it back in 2021. It is excellent for garments and um, accessories. Maybe not the best for socks. Depends. Some people like making just natural socks, and that works as well. Um, right. I think that's coming back. Um, okay, I have one last thing that I'm working on, and one thing that I'm going to cast on tomorrow. Let's see if I can get to it. So, as I said, tomorrow is uh, 1st of December, and it's the first day opening advent calendars and this bag here is full of all my leftover mini skeins after i completed my radvent cardigan by amber o'brien so i have a graffiti fade for my advent calendar that goes from lighter to darker which is what the description said so it shouldn't be a surprise to anyone and last year with my advent i made a big wrap by Shara, Shara Lambert, and that was great. I actually think I need to make another one and seam them together and make it into a blanket because it's just so cozy. So this year I made the Radvent cardigan, but I thought I can't actually really show that every day like I did last year because of how it's constructed and everything. And I've, I made it as a test knit, so it's already all made. So I thought, and now I hope it's the 1st of December or 
after that when you watch this and um, because I'll show you the first color I decided that with my leftover minis I'm just going to make some plain vanilla socks and that's what I have started so here color one a toe that's what I have made so I need to take a photo of this toe and um, day one of my advent calendar and then I'll keep going with the next color take a photo next color new photo and so on I haven't decided if I'm going to make two at the same time or but are the same or if I'm just going to do 12 colors the first half and then do another sock the other half I'm not sure but that's that and that sort of gives you a sneak peek of what this um, graffiti fade will be like a bit different um, but I enjoyed making it I enjoyed knitting my cardigan with it so I hope that um, uh, those that have purchased the calendar will be able to find a project that they think is really suitable for this advent calendar so that's the last thing I'm working on and then of course tomorrow is the 1st of December and December is the last month of Free Socks 2020 that Kia of Kia's Boot is hosting and she has released the pattern for December and it is an all over colorwork sock and she did say in her podcast that this sock had been made to do as an advent sock um, but I think it has a main color and then I think it was five different contrasting colors for the color work and I just I have not yet decided what to do with this and I think the color of the month for December for skein yarn is white or gray maybe or white or black Sorry, can't remember again. I think I had this problem last time as well. Anyway, so I don't know. Don't know how to. I haven't planned this out. I haven't all decided yet. But um, I have some of my new. I have some new Christmas yarn in my shop. So now we're moving on to more dyeing and and shop news relating to also upcoming knitting so i have some new sock yarn in christmas colorways and i wanted to use some of those myself so let me see should i show you the colorways first yes okay so i don't think i had these last time christmas pinata Festive Flamingo. I'm sorry if I've shown these before. Cinnamon. Um, cranberry. Apricot Pavlova. And this has been quite popular, which is fun because it's a bit different. I have... Whoville. Is this Whoville? Yes, this is Whoville. And Christmas tree. <coughs> Excuse me. So I've had these available in my shop for, I think, the past couple of weeks. Sorry. And I might have shown them to you the last time. But I have, I've had those available. Oh, actually, there's also a red called joy i have one here that's not not very pretty that's joy i've had those available available for about two weeks i think and um i've sold quite well which is really great and um i thought i i, I really would like to use some of them myself so I, I knew that i wanted to use the festive flamingo because it is just Fun and festive <laughs> um, 
so yes i wanted to use that and i don't know maybe i should i will use that in the color work sock for december or maybe i'll make vanilla socks but i thought it would go quite well with my cinnamon colorway it would be good contrast for color work so maybe i will make the free socks 2020 sock with using only two colors this as the base and this as the contrast i think that will look really good so i might do that but i'm also tempted to just get a heap of mini sours and just go crazy and use a lot of different colors but then i'll have to use these in just a plain sock which means that i will be knitting three pairs of socks so i have until tomorrow morning to decide because that's when i'm casting on <laughs> my december socks um but yes there are what i will use I think it's fun too and i think i got this idea from when i'm just made my november socks in brown and i put some pink yarn next to it thinking oh maybe i'll embroider something embroider something um, and i thought oh wow this combination the brown and the hot pink and i thought hmm, i have that in my christmas yarn so i think i think i have to do that so hmm, we'll see see how i we'll see what the details will be of that so that's uh my christmas yarn and as i said i've continued tidying and looking at stuff um that i have in stock that i'm not really dying anymore at the moment and i have some dyed up skeins that um basically just taking space <laughs> and um i like to move them along so i decided to put up um a sales section in my shop where i've put um a 20 percent discount at checkout in that sales section i have the merino hemp there's not a lot left of that there's the pink gloria some grass green oh excuse me some sky and then this fun one disco I think that's all that's left of that but then also a base that i have not been dying for a long time and i've just had these skeins sitting at the side i'm thinking because I, re I really like them and i thought oh maybe i'll start dying that same base again or maybe i'll just try to figure something out that i can use them for in the end i'm just in a space at the moment or a place at the moment where i just want to move things along make room for new things and know get rid of clutter so this here is a pile of my merino singles so it's the base that i had before i had the merino linen and i've decided that i, I so enjoy the merino linen single ply yarn that i'm not going to have the 100 um, percent merino singles anymore uh, but it's a beautiful yarn it's just that i can't have everything so I've also put all of these uh, in the 20% off sale section. Um, this, for example, is uh, blue is my favorite color. And I have three of these and I was so tempted to uh, make a cardigan or a jumper with them. But I think um, I just, I can't do everything. So if someone else wants to, they're there to grab. And I have some fun speckle fairy lights and there's some tonals and different things. Some some there are two of, some three, and some just the one single skein. But yes, that's my sale shelf. <laughs> and not a sale for a specific reason, just because I want to move things along. So if you're up for a bargain, uh, that would be worth checking out. What else? What else? What else? Um, I've also, as the last thing, now I'm almost 40 minutes again. How does this happen? <laughs> I, I think I wanted to tell you about the Christmas yarn. I wanted to tell you about the sale yarn. And I think now I'll show you a little treat that was sent to me. So as you know, well, I think you know, all of my family are back in Sweden and um, 
my mum likes to send me and my daughters um, presents every now and then. And at Easter time or before Easter time, she had put together a nice parcel with Easter presents. And then COVID and border closed and air traffic decreased and the Swedish Post said, we're no longer sending anything to Australia. So mum had this box of stuff that was all sealed and everything. So, you know, it was just ready to go. And she had that sitting at home until the post started moving again, I think in August or September, after months and months. So she sent finally this packet, the box with our Easter presents and it arrived last week. And uh, just to like to really see how long ago this was actually meant to um, be received. I got that then, back then, this was the latest issue of this Swedish um, knitting magazine and it's from February, 2020. But it's still a great magazine now. So I'm happy that it finally arrived. It's actually, let's see, it's a jumper in here that I really liked. Where would it be? I'm really, you know, I'm still into the colour work jumpers. Can I show it without showing that one there? nice one and it's made in what could it be made in uh, i think it's uh maybe an aaron it looks like it's thicker than dk so i got that magazine the girls got spoiled with different things and i got a special present too my mum had purchased me a i think it's called mud the brand, it's a Danish brand and they make leather knitting bags. And of course, some yarn as well. well first, the bag, um, it has, you close it up with two zips and then this, but you're meant to be able to have strands of yarn coming out either side of this. Um, it has pockets around on the outside and the, the same on the inside. So it's, a very clever bag and I just really like I like the the feel and the look of it and I had seen these bags on um, Swedish podcasts before so I was very surprised that all of a sudden I had one it was excellent then mum had purchased some fun skeins of yarn these two skeins of croft from um, West Yorkshire spinners so it's 100% Shetland wool, Shetland Island wool. So what would that be? I think it's an Aaron, 166 meters per 100 grams. So I have those two, I have to make something fun with. And then mum sent me some Rauma. This one I think I've had before, alpaca silk in cool green. So this one I might put together with some of my other single skeins of mohair, alpaca and mohair silk and alpaca silk and then this one alpaca lean which is um alpaca wool and linen so that would be fun to try so yes i've got a real a real goodie bag like proper fantastic <laughs> so yes um I think that's all I want to share with you. I'm now getting a bit aware of the time and that I don't want to have a big hassle getting this all uploaded for you to be able to watch it. Um, what's what's happening next? Well, it's going to be December tomorrow, so there will be a lot of, of Christmas um, sock knitting. And I have some loose plans about knitted gifts for children, which includes... Barbie doll clothing and little gnomes 
and other amigurumi is that the name stuff um but i i don't know that it will happen or that i want to take the time to do that there's just so many other things um that needs to be done but it would be fun it would be fun so maybe if i don't start a new jumper for myself i would have the time to make these little things for gifts so i might do that but i might also not we'll see we'll see what i'm in the mood for okay well it's time to finish up and i hope uh, to be able to record a video soon again I hope I'm able at all to get these up on, on YouTube. I was actually thinking, um, because how it is now, uh, if I want to make things better and easier, there's two options that I can see now. There's probably more options, but two that I have considered is, um, one, to start doing live streaming on YouTube, which means that I would not edit or have to upload so I'm thinking that would save a lot of time because that's an issue at the moment it's just all the time with editing and but I've just really really enjoy doing this and I do enjoy the editing as well actually but when it's not working it's very frustrating and it ends up you know technology ends up taking so much more time than you have so that's option one do live streaming but I do not have Wi-Fi out here so I wouldn't be able to do it in my studio I would have to be inside somewhere so it would be different and I don't know about the quality I'm not sure if it's a good idea option two is get a new computer and get better equipment but then does someone arrive is it the mail is it the post um but if I'm going to get better equipment, I would have to somehow get some funds in from this podcast. And so would that be having a coffee account where people can, if they would like to do so, give me just a little bit of money if they enjoy the video. I don't like this patron. I don't really know they want to commit to something like that. And um, I just don't know. Don't know. Thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay it's time for me to go i think maybe there's a mailman ha here and maybe he has something exciting for me so um thank you everyone for watching and um take care wherever you are in the world and um i hope you're all well so until i see you next time take care bye